Hey, what's up everybody? Krondon Smoker here again, uh, reporting to you live off the coast of Nigeria on a small boat on the way back to Canada. Uh, but today I am going to be showing you uh, two free products that you could download onto your computer uh, as soon as now or hopefully after you watch my video. Uh, the first one I do want to show you is going to be AVG Antivirus, uh, the free version 2012. Uh, there is two versions, there's a paid one uh, as well as a free one and you can you know go through those uh, on the download.com website which I'm at now uh, but what I'm going to be showing you is the free version uh, since I am talking about free products uh, here it is second one down ABG antivirus free edition 2012 you can use that download now button on the side or if you want to look at the information and you know take a look at the ratings uh, you can go into the page uh, there's a quick specs here it tells you you know what operating systems it'll work on if it's a free product how many people have downloaded it uh, so you can see, you know, if it's a popular program or, you know, if it's just a piece of shit that, you know, no one really likes. Uh, so it's definitely good to look at these things, you know, see how popular it is and see what, you know, what type of people are using it. Uh, if you do decide, you just hit the download now button. It's quite simple. Since I already have it on my computer, I'm not going to do that right now. I do recommend when you're going through there to actually read the stuff. It'll ask you, you know, toolbars to download and make this website your default website. Uh, that is stuff you don't need to do. Obviously, if you do want to do it, feel free to. Uh, but in the end, that just bogs down your computer a little bit, so I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, the next program I do want to show you is the Malware Bytes, which is also right here on download.com, so they are simple to find. Uh, all you have to do is type in right there, as I typed in, uh, Malware Bytes, all one word, uh, and it'll be the first product that comes up. You'll see here at the top, uh, Malware Bytes, anti-malware. Uh, and this as well has the download now button, so if you want to do a quick download, just click to the right there. Uh, if you open up the page, that'll give you all your specs, uh, tell you operating system, same thing that's basically on uh, the AVG page that we saw. But I'll just go ahead and show it to you real quick. Uh, you can again, you know, see how many people downloaded it, what the editors say, what users rate it. Uh, so it gives you a little bit of information, you know, you can find things out about it. Uh, but these are definitely two quick, good programs to download. I'll go ahead and show them to you real quick. Uh, first one I'm going to show you here is uh, AVG. Once that loads up, there it goes. Or oh, excuse me. Oh, there they are. All right, here's AVG. All right, and it's a basic uh, program. You know, nothing too crazy about it. The main thing you need to know is right here where it says you are protected. Uh, something's wrong if your definitions aren't up to date you'll just see a big X there say you're not protected uh, here's a few of the you know the little things the main thing you want to do I recommend is uh, the schedule a task if you're a heavy computer user uh, you definitely want to do this daily you know you don't want some kind of key logger on your computer you know for 20 30 password logins before you find out you have a virus or a key logger of some sort uh, it's a very easy way to set up if you just click on the uh, button here it'll show you uh, basically a menu of options on you know the different types of things uh, when you can set it up you know when how often you want it to work uh, so you know you can customize it to you know fit your schedule you know if you work eight to five have the the scanner you know start going if you leave your computer on you know have it scan at 5 p.m. by the that way by the time you get home you know it's done uh, you know whatever you like I definitely recommend you know doing it at least once a day. If you're not a heavy computer user, uh, then it's something you want to do at least once a week. Uh, you know you could do the full scan and it'll you know run through a full scan. You could do it manually. Uh, it doesn't have to be set up. Uh, this other program, uh, Malware Bytes, uh, is another you know pretty simple program. Uh, the main screen there you have a full scan, quick scan, and a flash scan, which will you know if you borrow a thumb a thumb drive or something of the sort from a friend or a coworker. And you want to make sure there's no viruses on it. You could do, you know, a quick malware byte scan on it, uh, and then you know you get your other options, uh, setting up a schedule as well, updating, which it looks like I have an update right now available. Uh, so I'll go ahead and let that download real quick. That was a little unexpected, but again, you know, it kind of shows why it's good to check your program every day, every couple days, because uh, viruses and malware come out, you know, thousands by you know the day and by the week so there's always updates <clears throat> personally I recommend you know checking your databases at least once a day to see if there is any type of update uh, that you might need 
Uh, again, as I was saying before, you know, you could do uh, schedule a scan on here. Uh, it'll show you a quarantine if it did find anything. Uh, so it's definitely a very, you know, just a bunch of useful stuff. Uh, so they're definitely, you know, they're worth your while. You know, they're, I mean, they're free programs. You know, you don't have to spend any money, no credit cards, uh, anything like that. They are absolutely free. Uh, they are great programs. Uh, so again, you know, download.com, ABG Antivirus, and Malware Bytes. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, please give it a like if it helped you out at all. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I have, you know, weekly updates on a bunch of different subjects. I hope this helped out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and if you do have questions, feel free to leave comments in the bottom. I'm always ha happy to help out about anything computer related. Have a good